When you need to work at night and ensure safe conditions, you can count on the new Chicago Pneumatic CPLT-H5 light tower. The CPLT-H5 is designed to deliver reliable light in difficult conditions, including construction sites, road work, mining, sports and special events, and even disaster recovery and emergency response. This light tower puts the light you need right where you need it to minimize the risk of accidents. The CPLTH5 light tower is designed with safety in mind. It's built to withstand tough job site conditions as well as harsh weather and high winds. Durable features include a corrosion resistant heavy duty canopy made of galvanized steel, long lasting polyester powder paint coating, and a spillage free base frame that prevents oil and fluids from spilling onto the ground in the event of a leak. The frame also has a sturdy lifting beam for easy positioning and forklift pockets for easy transport. Every component has been designed, manufactured and tested to ensure reliable performance and stable consistent light. This is a basic overview of the CPLTH5 and its functions. Please refer to your operator's manual for complete step-by-step -step instructions. There are several options to position the CPLTH5 on the site. It can be transported on a truck and unloaded, or the homologated version can be towed to the site. Make sure you have at least 9 meters of overhead clearance from the ground up before setting up the light tower. Once the light tower is in place, deploy the four heavy-duty stabilizers. There are two front stabilizers and two rear stabilizers. For the front stabilizers, release the locking pin, fully extend the stabilizer, and lock the pin in place. Then turn the handle to lower the supporting feet. For the rear stabilizers, release the jack, extend the supporting feet, and turn the handle to tighten it in place. Use the level indicators on the top of the unit and adjust the stabilizers until the bubbles are directly centered. When the stabilizers are deployed and the light tower is level, the unit can withstand winds of up to 80 kilometers per hour. In addition, the mast rotates 340 degrees. To rotate the mast, pull out the loading pin, use the handles to turn the mast, and lock the pin in place when the mast is in the desired position. Next, start the engine and raise the mast. The CPLT-H5's controls are located in a separate cubicle to ensure safety. This allows the operator to start the machine without any contact with hot or moving parts in the engine compartment. The LC-1003 controller is a unique controller designed for light tower applications. It helps increase reliability by automatically sequencing lamp startup. Other main features include a weekly timer to program start and stop times for the CPLT-H5 in auto mode, an event log for easy troubleshooting, and voltage, intensity, frequency, and other readings for performance monitoring. Turn the starter switch and press the green button to start the engine. The CPLT-H5 is designed for silent operation for full light distribution, the lamps must be positioned at the desired angle and the mast must be fully extended to 9 meters. To operate the mast and lamps, you must first switch on the main circuit breakers Q1 through Q6. Two simple buttons on the control panel raise and lower the hydraulic mast. Press the up arrow to raise the mast to the desired height. Key elements of the mast, such as the pulleys, steel cables, and cable clamps, are designed with a safety yield factor of 5 according to the most demanding European regulations. That means CP has over-specified these parts 5 times, following EU safety design norms. With the mast fully extended, the CPLTH5 is ready to deliver safe, wide light coverage. Press the Auto Mode button to start the lamps. This will start the lamps one by one every 20 seconds. The CPLT has four 1000 watt high efficiency metal halide lamps. Metal halide lamp technology requires less power, produces more light, and provides the ideal lighting for a range of night applications. 
These long-lasting lamps are managed by the LC1003 controller, which starts the lamps in sequence to minimize the risk of typical alternator or ballast failures. Pulse and pause ballast technology also helps prevent any lamp filament damage. This helps prolong the life of the lamps by not generating new pulses once the lamp is on. The four metal halide lamps are designed with special optics to increase the light coverage, maximize the lux level, and provide high luminosity. Typical light output for four 1000 watt metal halide lamps is 200 lux up to 10 meters. 100 lux up to 25 meters and 50 lux up to 35 meters from the light tower. The lamps have a water ingress protection rating of IP66 and an impact resistance rating of IK09. Servicing and maintaining the CPL TH5 light tower is simple. Two large doors open for easy access to all key components including the alternator, engine, cooling system and filters, as well as the hydraulic system and the battery. Oil and water drains are also easy to access, and an external fuel filling point allows convenient refueling. Several options are available for the CPLT H5 light tower. One option is an adjustable photo cell that allows the light tower to start in auto mode without an operator present. The photo cell is located on the external power panel so the light tower must be positioned out of the shadows for proper operation. We recommend setting the photo cell at 50 lux. Then, when the light level drops under 50 lux, the engine and lamps will start in auto mode with remote start. Other options include a 230 vac external power input, remote start, auto lamp shutdown to save fuel, and a metal grounding bar. The compact heavy-duty CPLTH5 light tower is the result of many months of extensive development. It's built to deliver reliable, long-lasting light in demanding conditions for safe and productive work. For more information about the CPLTH5 light tower, visit cp.com.